Are you from Idaho Falls? I wasn't born here. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Wow. What brought you out here? Uh, several husbands. <laughs> from, New from New York to Texas to Denver. And then we came here and I said, how long do I have to stay in this podunk town? And I've been here since then. And when was that? That was in the 70s. Wow. Yeah. Do yeah. you still think it's a podunk town? No. <laughs> no. I live here. They can't be. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you made it so it wasn't yeah. podunk. I bet Idaho Falls has changed since the 70s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I did work here for um, the phone company. And then I changed to the Department of Labor, helping people write resumes that people would read and uh, trying to get them jobs. And now I'm turning 74 in a couple of days. That's why I'm here. Well, you don't look 74, I'll tell you that. I feel it. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> well, you don't look it, so you, you have some good genes. What are some of the lessons you've learned over your life through all the moves and, and changes? I, I, I stopped worrying about what it was going to be like when I was going to move because usually the man goes for the job interview and unless the wife goes, she doesn't even know what it looks like. When I first got here, I didn't know what Mormons were and I didn't know anything about it, but I, don't, I know about them now. And uh, I found that the people were very friendly. When I was at home after I was retired, there weren't that many people around. You know, I lived in an eight unit condo and everybody lives in their condo, you know? There's no place to, to sit and, and visit with the people. And uh, I'm glad to be coming here because there's gonna be things to do here. They should make you activities director. Oh dear God. So, something like that. Well, I did teach people how to make cards. Mm. And, uh, and I don't think people here need resumes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if they want one, I'll give them one. There you go. <laughs> they might be surprised to get a job. <laughs> uh, Mary Ann, do you have any regrets? Uh, not really. You know, you live your life and you can't, you can't rewrite it. If, if you have something bad goes, you just you gotta let it go. Is there anything you want to accomplish left that you haven't done? I don't know how to swim. There's still time. There's a pool just down the street. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, my Aunt Marge, I used to stay space, spend uh, summers in uh, Brooklyn with her because my mother worked and so she'd pay her sister to take care of me. And we'd go to the beach and <clears throat> my mother would say, don't let Marianne go into the, the, the deep end. And my aunt would say, she won't go in there. She's petrified of it, and I don't know how to swim yet. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's one thing I bet you can accomplish. That means buying a, a bathing suit. <laughs> that will be more terrifying than that an actual swimming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, good luck moving in today here to Morningstar, and I'm sure they're, they'll be thrilled to get to know you, and next time we're back, you'll be throwing a party or something. Yeah, New York-themed. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, Marianne. Thanks for chatting with us.